What's up guys, Alex is here, GuitarForge.com. Today we're going to take a look at the intro section of the song called The Messiah Will Come Back Again by Gary Moore. The full lesson can be purchased at GuitarForge.com. Uh, the link is going to be in the description box down below. Um, uh, the uh, tuning for this song is standard, so no need to change anything. And uh, here is the picture of the preset that I was using for this lesson. Uh, while you are checking it out, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play you my low E string for your tuning reference so you can tune up and play along with this lesson. Alright, so without further ado, let's go for the close up and start this lesson. Alright, so we're going to break up this uh, song into licks and phrases. Uh, the first, the beginning of the song where we have a guitar which is played kind of quietly in the background. It's playing a few phrases, uh, sort of on a cleaner channel. So, the first phrase goes like this. So it starts off on the D string, we go 7, 9, then we slide from 9 to 10. Then we have two slides on the G string into the 9th fret. Second phrase would be like this. So again, the first part repeats exactly the same, so we go 7, 9, 9 to 10, slide on the D string. Then we have first slides into the ninth fret on the G. Then we pick it two times. Then we go down to the seventh fret, down to the fifth fret, and then slide back up to the seventh fret. So one more time, the second phrase. Like that. Then the next phrase goes like this. B string, 10 frets to 12, bend up half a step, pick the note, then bring it back down to the 12th fret. Then we have on the G string. So we go 12th down to the 9th fret, pick it two times, and then slide back up to the 12th fret. One more time. Next phrase. Alright, so uh, we have here on the G string 9 to 12, and then bend up to the 14th fret. Hold on to this note, and then we go down to uh, the first position of the A minor scale, A minor pentatonic, and we play this. This lick, which is starts off on the high E8, then we go to B, I'm sorry, on the high E it's 5th fret, then we go to B8, then we have a band on the G string 7th fret, uh, bend it up, bring it down, pull off to the 5th fret, 7th fret on the D string, then we have um, hammer on pull off 5, 7, 5 on the G again, and then we have which is 5th fret on the A, going to 5th fret on the D, and then we have 7, 6, 5, 7, 7 on the A string. So all together slowly would be like this. Staying on this note for uh, for some time, then we have next phrase phrase which goes like this. So here we go to D string playing 11, 12, 14. Then we slide into the 12th fret on the G string. Pick it one more time. Then slide up to the 14th fret and down to the 10th fret. One more time. Uh, 
Next phrase. B string bend up 12th fret half a step, then bring it down to the 12th fret. Then we go to G string 12th, going down to the 10th fret, 9th fret two times. So we have this. Next phrase. B string 10th fret to 12th, bend it up half a step, bring it down to the 12th fret. And then we have. So we pick it three times, the 12th fret on the B string, and then we bend it up um, two steps. So it, it's got to reach the 16th fret here. Then we have um, it's uh, kind of uh, going from the silent guitar to the uh, you know opening up the uh, volume uh, on the note. So you play the note first, which is going to be on the tenth fret of the B string, and then you bring uh, and you then switch on the volume, bring it up. And then we go uh, to the next note, which is going to be on the G string, 9th fret. And we vibrate it and we do the same thing as we did with the previous one. So it's from the uh, switched off guitar. You know, and if you go into sort of kind of feedback, we bring more distortion in, uh, on this note. So you vibrate it. Um, and uh, at the same time bringing up the volume. And then we go into the sort of main theme of the song which goes like this. So that's the first line. Starts off with the 14 frets on the D string. Then we go to B string, 15th fret bent up, and then bring it down. Going down to the 13th fret, and we do the same, bend it up, bring it down and pick it. Pick it two times, then we go to the 12th fret. We have here 12 frets, then we bend up half a step, then bring it down. Then we have 10 frets, so one more time from the beginning. Then we go down to the 10th fret, 8, back to 10, bend it up, full step, and then bring it down to the 10th fret. Alright, so one more time, the whole phrase. The next part of uh, this melody goes like this. So we go on the B string 10, 12, bend up a half step, and then we go to the D string 12th fret and we um, bend it up again half step two times. Hold on to the second bend, then we pick it two more times, and then we go to the 13th fret again bending up uh, half a step. So one more time this last phrase. the second phrase which is um, repeating um, uh, 
the first one from the beginning so it, it goes like this again there is a little uh, difference there but um, I'll explain it and um, just want to play it through it goes like this So as you can see, it's exactly the same as we did um, previously. The only difference is when you bend this last note on the 10th fret of the B string. Sorry. So you bend it up a full step and then you add a little bit more, kind of half, half, half step more, and then you bring it down to the 10th fret. Okay, so that's the only difference. One more time. Then we repeat again the same thing. So here when I was bending the D string on the 12th fret, uh, third time there is a uh, artificial harmonic. Okay, so if you can get it. And then we play, instead of uh, bend on the 13th fret, we just play the 14th fret. Or you can bend it up if you want to on the 13th fret. So we have this. Alright guys, so that brings us to the end of this lesson on the intro part of the song. I hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Also comment, share, subscribe if you're new to my channel. If you would like to purchase the full lesson, it's going to be available at guitarforce.com. The link is in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out guitarforce.com for more guitar related stuff. In the meantime, I'll see you again. Take it easy and as always, let the force be with you.